In this video, we're walking through software that will let you create studio product photos without the need for expensive cameras, lighting, or even a studio space. Colorful is promising to let you do all of this with just your laptop. Is it too good to be true and should we be worried as photographers? Let's find out. My name is Chris Pieta. I teach creative business and product photography here on YouTube. You heard that right. You can now create product photos without a camera or studio space. The software we're talking about today is called Colorful, and it promises to help you create product photos with just a computer. In a world where robots are replacing workers, self-driving trucks are replacing drivers, and software is replacing a lot of jobs, are photographers next in line? No. Your job as a product photographer isn't going anywhere, but your tool belt is expanding. We're reviewing a new software called Colorful for photographers, designers, and digital creators. Colorful's promise is to make it easier than ever to create product photos for yourself and clients. We're putting that to the test. I'm taking a photo in the real world with a professional camera and professional lighting, and then we're trying to recreate that in Colorful and see how good the software actually is. This video is sponsored by Colorful. They are paying me to make this. The thoughts in this video are my own, but since money changed hands, you as the audience should be fully aware. Let's dive into the software and see what it's capable of. First off, you'll notice that I'm writing this in Chrome. You don't need to download anything here because all the computing is done in the cloud. What that means for you is that all the intensive rendering and processing is done through their own powerful servers, so you don't need an expensive, specced out computer to run this software. When you log in, you'll be greeted with all your past projects. On the right here, we have an option to create a new scene from scratch. On the left here, we can go to their template library and see all their pre-built scenes that you can choose from. So right away, you'll see that there's some really cool scenes here that you can play around with. This one has some awesome shapes, some more shapes here. Here's some real food and a beer and some more plates. Down here, we've got these cool lighting setups. We've got some more lighting here, really cool harsh shadows here. In my opinion, the way the light appears in these is gonna be the most important part. Photography is all about lighting after all, and if you can get that right, the rest will follow. But let's load up one of these scenes and see what the software is all about. Let's try this one here. So right in the middle, we're greeted with the frame of the scene itself. This frame here shows what's going to be in the actual photo. And now if we zoom out, we can see some more elements here. So we see the whole backdrop present here. We have a light source here. We got the leaves and the products themselves here. Now, where are these backdrops and props actually coming from? Well, we have an asset library on the left side here. So we could load up all sorts of different props. We see there's over 1400 in here right now. So if we want to add in more leaves to this photo, we can search plants and see all the different plants that they have to offer here. Now, if we wanna add maybe a candle to this scene, let's look up candle. We can see all the different options that they offer here. So we can just drag one of these in here, place it down there, and you'll notice how this just clicks to the surface itself. This is really useful in repositioning it and making sure it's not just floating around somewhere. So with the candle, I wanna show you one more thing. We can actually change the color of all these different elements. So if we wanna change the color of the outside of the candle, we just click on this color icon here. We can change it to literally any color that you want. We can change the wax color too. So if you wanted a blue outside and a red wax candle, we can do that. And you can even change the wick color. So the software makes it super easy to customize product colors. If we go back to the left-hand side here and click scene graph, we can actually see all the different elements of this frame. I wanna show you the environment section up here. This is where we can change the type of light that we have in the scene. So right now we see it's the forest path. I really like the clear day sun sky lighting. This makes it super harsh and gives you those long shadows. If you're looking for something like a studio setup with softer shadows, you can go to studio small, click that, and then you'll get those softer shadows in the final render. Now up here, you can see the preview of what the final render is gonna look like. If you look closely, you can see those soft shadows in there. And if we do go to the clear day sun sky, you're gonna see those harsher shadows appearing. Up here at the top in this toolbar, we can add another light source to the scene. So this can be a big area light that can light the entire scene and we can reposition it however we want, up, down, we can rotate it and really customize this to, to your liking. When adding light sources, we can change the intensity of the brightness to make sure it balances out with all the other light sources. So if you normally shoot your products with multiple lights, you can balance each of these light sources out to give you the perfect light on each side of the product. Next on the toolbar, we have our transform tool. This just lets you control the light, move it up, down, like I was showing you previously. This next one is really cool. You can actually edit the depth of field and focus in the image. All you do is click the object you wanna focus on, adjust the amount of blur you want, and just like that, you've essentially got a lower aperture. Finally here, we've got the frame options. We can select one of the preset options here. I'm gonna go with square for this time. 
If you want some other dimensions, you can type in whatever you want here and it will resize the frame to whatever aspect ratio you need. Now, once you've repositioned your photo and framed it in a way that you like, you can go ahead and share this with a team member with this link, or you can export it and it will render and show you the final image. So here's our final render and you can see all the elements that we talked about earlier. We've got this really cool light pattern coming in through on the pre-built templates and all the shadows and highlights look really good. I like the subtle details here too, like the leaves aren't lying flat on the ground, they're lying like actual leaves would. We got, we've got the box slightly opened up top here like a box actually would and the highlights and shadows are great on these boxes since the light's coming here and here. We've got shadows on the front here while highlights here and we got the shadow on the side here. So all this looks really realistic and I'm really impressed so far. Welcome back to my studio. We're shooting this nail polish on blue background with some geometric props. I'll be using some harsh lighting here so that we can see some serious shadows. Photographers care about lighting. Good lighting will take you farther in photography than anything else. That's why I wanna make sure that our scene has a lot of shadows and highlights so that we can stress test this software. I've got these cubes and rectangles back here and they're great for testing this stuff. First off, they look good in photos and secondly, they cast shadows and add complexity to the scene. We wanna test and see if Colorful can keep up. Let's build out our scene and take some photos. Here's what I came up with for our nail polish. Nothing too fancy, but it's a great photo that highlights the product while creating some fun elements throughout the shot. I think this will be a great test photo to see what Colorful is actually capable of. Let's hop into it. All right, we're back in Colorful, so let's start by clicking New Scene here. First off, we used some harsh lighting, so let's make sure our environment is set to that clear day sun sky one we talked about earlier. We'll keep the intensity and rotation as is for now. We'll have to play around with that later once we add in our objects. Let's go ahead and reframe this to square aspect ratio. We're gonna be using this to compare against that photo that we took. We used a blue backdrop in the real world, so let's look that up here. We're gonna look up just backdrop paper, and we were greeted with three options here. So we've got a seamless one, We've got one with a seam and then a studio setup one. So we use seamless in the real world. So let's drag that back in here. The great thing about the software is that you can change the color of this paper too. So I have the hex code written down for the backdrop that I use. So let's quickly type that in here and good to go. So this is the same blue of the paper that we used in the real world. So it'll match perfectly. Next, let's find the nail polish that we use and drag that in there as well. So nail polish. Okay, so that's the exact same one we had. Oh, it's tiny. So let's zoom in on that guy. So yes, this nail polish is red. So what do we do? We just change the color here. So I also wrote down the hex code of the nail polish. Let me type that in here. And good to go. Now in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see this preview overlay. So this is an example of what the final image will look like. And you'll notice the shadow is coming in this direction. So what we can do is change the lighting here. So let's go back to our environment and just rotate this light so that it's perfectly in line with what we took in our studio setup. Now all we have left is our props. So let's look up some cubes and drag those into our scene. So type in cubes and you're greeted with a lot of different options. So we're gonna drag this cube in right here and we've got a problem. One of the cubes is more of a rectangle. So what we can do is easily just shrink it down. We grab this little slider right here and shrink it down to be a rectangular prism. So this nail polish is gonna go on top of this. So we can easily drag the nail polish and you can see it'll click onto the surface of the actual cube. So that's awesome. We can just have it sitting right in the middle here, just like our image and good to go on this front. Next up, we're gonna have to rotate these so they're on the correct angle that we have in our photo. So let's quickly rotate these two, match them up perfectly, put this straight in the middle right there and add in our other props. So we've got two more cubes to add in. We got this big cube in the background here and then we've got a smaller cube in the background back here. So what we can do, we can shrink this to the size that we want, rotate it to match perfectly to our uh, scene. We're pretty much good to go here. Uh, we can adjust this framing a bit here, make sure everything is perfect. I'm referencing the other photo right now to make sure um, it looks pretty much the same. And we can start to see in our preview here what the final render is gonna look like. And you can start to th see how the shadows actually match up to what our final image was. So I think this is ready to share. Let's just reframe it a bit more and hit export up here. Wait for this to load and we'll do the comparisons in a second. 
So we've got both shots up on the screen here, and I am impressed with the software. I mentioned earlier how light will be a critical deciding factor for colorful. You can see how realistic the light is with these side by sides. The front of the nail polish is really well lit, the shadows are cast really evenly, and the blocks themselves have highlights and shadows throughout the scene. The colors are realistic, we are able to match them really well in the software. In addition to being a good tool for design, this is going to be a massive learning tool. If you are a digital creator looking to get into photography and want to learn more about light, this will be a fantastic tool for that. Just like the switch from film cameras to digital cameras created more photographers, I think Colorful will do the same. The feedback loop will be much shorter here, so you'll be able to experiment much, much faster and see what works and what doesn't work. If you're a product photographer, you can even use a software to build out a scene you have in your head. You can build it out in Colorful and see how it looks before spending a long time building it out in the physical world. For a lot of you, pricing will be a big factor in choosing whether to use a software like this. I was really impressed by how reasonable the pricing was. There is a free starter version that includes unlimited personal scenes, access to the assets library so you can add in props, and you even have access to the template library. There's also a pro version of the software for 29 bucks a month that includes all of this, plus some bonus features like team scenes, faster rendering, and more sharing options. Click the link down below and check out Colorful for free. What do you think of Colorful? Drop a comment below. I want to chat more. My name is Chris Pieta, and I will see you in the next video.